A demonstration of the first evolution of the Rapid Airfield Damage Assessment System was recently completed by the Air Force Civil Engineer Center's Requirement Research and Development and Acquisition Division at the Silver Flag Testing Site, located at Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida. This is a perfect example of, of, uh, of innovation, right, of using the technology that's available today, applying it to a problem that we have, uh, and, uh, and thinking about things differently. RADAS, according to its developers, is intended to assist the warfighter in determining how to most effectively repair a runway intentionally damaged by munitions. To do that, we've got to be able to show um, how can we go out there and find all the damage, find all the explosives that are left, so that we can then calculate the, the uh, runway repair that needs to be done to get the planes back operational. Part of the demonstration included flying remotely piloted aircraft over simulated runway damage to show how it uses both visual and infrared imagery to detect objects and ordinances on the runway. The demo, according to leadership, was an opportunity to show Air Force capabilities. And being able to come out and assure the ability to operate in a contested environment uh, is essential for the United States in order to present the right options for the president and so that we can influence others, which is our goal, but also know that we can respond if challenged. The next steps for RADAS, according to the AFCAC team, is to further integrate tools and technology into the system. Reporting for the Air Force Civil Engineer Center, I'm Nika Parrish.